assistant principal who live streamed himself ranting f the police placed on leave so this just kind of goes to show here's here's at least one example of a few not too many of um you know petitions and and right-wing activism actually getting some quasi results in terms of you know getting these anquifer uh commie morons these commie pukes out of educational spaces and he this dude is an assistant principal um in rochester which has been seeing some riots some violent rioting so let's just go into this for at least a few paragraphs an assistant principal at a high school in the suburb of rochester new york has been placed on leave following outrage in the community over the administrator live streaming himself cursing out the police while attending a blm protest in the city so that's that's you know very encouraging that there's some outcry i don't know how much outcry there actually was but apparently there was enough to i think there was a um there was a petition i believe yeah i got 5500 signatures calling for lysenko that's the name of the assistant principals uh firing but in the live stream Let's just look at this live stream, this this clip from this display of weakness. This is a assistant principal in Rochester, dude. This is what they're like. At which point we met the Rochester Police Department, and guess what happened? Wait. Our... Good evening, folks. It's Steve Lasenko. It certainly is. of the local chapter of the National Association for Multicultural Education. Ugh. In an act of protest this evening, we marched west on Court Street. You rioted, you mean, or you aided and abetted in rioting, and you're the president of the what multicultural? Association for Multicultural Education. Association for Multicultural Education. So just total parasitism, just economic, just drain on anyone who's even remotely productive. In an act of protest this evening, we... Riot. We marched... Peaceful rioting. West ...on Court Street, and we didn't do anything but chant and sing all the way halfway across the bridge at which point we met the rochester police department and guess what happened our peacekeepers ended up shooting pepper spray at us for singing and chanting and telling them what a shitty ass job they were doing <laughs> apparently they were doing an awesome job because this dude getting pepper balled is uh you know that is that is a job well done that is just another day at the office but, you know, at least he has his little COVID Tifa virtue signaling mask to <laughs> mitigate that pepper ball, pepper spring that's going on. But, yeah, peaceful singing and protesting. Sure, dude. Sure. No, it's rioting, bro. They can fuck right off, America. <laughs> fuck the police. <laughs> fuck Rochester Police Department. Thank you. I love the politeness after the cursing of a storm so that's that's the assistant principal of of uh rochester high school my goodness dude so there was an there was a, a petition so don't don't let anyone tell you the petitions don't do anything although he's on leave which he's probably getting paid anyway but we'll see if he actually gets fired it says mr steven lysenko is a tenured administrator with due process rights He's been placed on administrative leave pending an investigation, says a statement from the school, I'm presuming. Um, this incident has caused significant disruption in our school community, it continues. We are working diligently to open schools, consistent with our reopening plan, keeping student safety as our top priority. We appreciate the outpouring of emails, posts, yada, yada, yada. Um... So Lysenko is the ninth grade and academy assistant principal at Spencerport High School. He's left wing, all right. I mean, this guy is left of left apparently, and he's just emanating soy from every pore. Just a total display of weakness. So what did he say? Where's the live stream? It says there's a live stream. Hold on. President of the yeah mo local chapter of the National Association for Multiculturalism Education. So that's just total like brainwashing i mean if you're a white student in any class like that it's probably pretty hostile toward you preemptively wait it says da, 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 da. 
we, we marched, we marched. Okay, so this is just recapping the stream. Lechenko was protesting the death of Daniel Prude, a 41-year-old bleak who died seven days after an interaction with the RPD back in March at the height of the coronavirus pandemic. Yeah, well, whatever. It was probably justified, or at least, like, oopsie-daisy, or an anomaly. We all know, like, that's the trend amongst these protests, is that they're over either scuzz bags, number one, num or one, or, one or all of the following. Total scuzz bags with, like, a, a rap sheet a mile long, um, a justified shooting or a shooting or a killing that is at least ambiguous as to what happened. So, because the autopsy says, uh, listed the cause of Prude's death as complications of the asphyxia in the setting of physical restraint due to excited delirium due to acute fencilislidine intoxication. Oh, okay, so he was high on PCP. But they're protesting that anyway because cops are supposed to be able to just automatically save some dude's life who's ODing. Kind of like the George Floyd case where they just completely destroyed. They're still destroying because dude OD'd and they just don't care. But anyway. Yeah, dude smashed, had the coronavirus. Spitting on cops probably. So... Yeah, at least one comment in the comment section. Don Ware, this dude's got it right. Mr. Lysenko is a shameful example of educational leadership. His lack of respect is outrageous. Fire him, please. I've traveled the world 42 countries. Disgrace is not tolerated in leadership. Based, dude? But yeah, I mean, this is this is not a leader. Like, look at this rotund, po potato-like specimen. Uh, it reminds me of a lot of teachers that I had growing up and... They were all effeminate, beta male, just vegetable, skulled people. Very weak, very anti-intellectual, you know, very by the books. But anyway, this, again, just to reiterate, this goes to show that sometimes if concerned, like, right-wing or non-psychotic leftist parents try to get some sort of petition together, they can at least get a teacher or a assistant principal like this on leave it remains to be seen whether or not dude will actually get fired, but I don't know. Fingers crossed. But anyway, uh, subscribe. -ish.